Now that the winter NWA testing is over for our district, it would probably be a good idea to do a little check and just to see where your class is and where maybe your students are. To check for your class, I'm going to suggest that you go and you check the Achievement Status and Growth Summary with Quadrant Chart. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check the fall to winter just to kind of get an idea are our kids on track for learning and growing. Uh, I'm going to leave it at the winter terms and if you need to select school instructor but make sure you select the class. Do fall to winter and then create report. Now when the report opens it's going to show you some quadrants but basically it's showing quadrants by high achievement high growth, high achievement low growth, low achievement low growth, and low achievement high growth and it kind of puts those students into those quadrants. I'm going to suggest that if you're checking a specific uh, subject that you uncheck the others and that's going to give you an idea kind of seeing where like you don't, this only has one student up here um, in this area you still have quite a few in the high achievement high growth um, we have quite a few down here so it gives you kind of a good snapshot of where some of your students are you can choose to show student names here there's different things that you can check um, to get look at the report differently. What I find is helpful is if you scroll down here a little bit lower, you're going to see student by student in the class um, the recent results. So it'll show you their fall score and then their winter score. It will show you what was projected, what was the growth that was projected, and what was observed. And it will also tell you whether they met that projected growth for the fall to winter. So in a sense, like I said, this is like a dipstick to see are your students um, growing as they should. Below all the names, what you're going to find is you're going to find the summary data by subject. And we picked mathematics here. And you're going to notice this top number here was the percentage of students who met or exceeded their projected RIT, 38.1 in this class's case. Um, our district has set 68% or above as what we're trying to have um, your class achieve. This shows, you know, kind of do you need a little bit more work. Um, what I would suggest next is that we start to look at individual students to see where they're at. To see how your individual students are doing and where you possibly could be helping them, would be the student profile I find one of the most helpful. And I'm just going to open up the sample student profile. It's going to show you in the different areas like mathematics, reading, language, uh, what the recent test results. And I think if you look at the chart, which will be a little bit lower down, it's going to show you are they on their trajected, um, projected trajectory of growth. Once you're looking at the instructional areas, this can be very helpful when working with students on an individual level. Um, possibly you could pair it up with some maybe MobyMax or IXL or something to that effect where you can differentiate that instruction. When working with groups of students for maybe RTI, I would maybe suggest going back to um, a different report. If you're going to see where the students maybe I would do like the class breakdown by writ goal or projected proficiency and that's going to show you more of a group what are some of those skills with RTI that I could start to group them or that they need to work on so hopefully some of these reports will help you at the winter just to do a check where my students are at and what can we be doing to help them prepare um, and to meet that growth by the end of the year. So hopefully this Take Two for Tech has helped and you have a great day.